This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay celebrates its 11th anniversary of continuous progress and is organizing several activities. On that occasion, you can get exclusive coupons or you can start your PCB order for just $5 and get up to 50% off for 3D printing and CNC machining. You also get a special discount of on the selected items and share your project with community and get the sponsorship amount of up to 20 US dollars per project. PCBWay not only counts years but also builds a leg legacy of quality, reliability and partnership. Together, let's shape the innovations of tomorrow. Hello, recently in one of my projects I present you a simple way to make a Tetris game on an 8x8 LED display. This time I will use the same hardware and case and I will try to explain to you an equally simple way to make another legendary arcade game, Bre Breakout. Breakout is a video game developed by and published by Atari and released on 1976. The player controls a paddle at the bottom of the screen. The objective is to use the paddle to bounce a ball into a wall of bricks at the top of the screen. Hitting a brick causes it to disappear and the player earns points. The game has been ported to numerous platforms over the years ensuring, ensuring its continued popularity. The version I presented to you this time is probably, probably the simplest possible and is played on a display with a resolution of only 64 pixels. However, it has almost all the options of the original and even has three levels. As before, the construction is extremely simple and the device consists of a minimum number of components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, uh, buzzer, this time I use only two buttons, optionally battery with voltage regulator and finally 8x8 LED matrix with WS2812B LEDs. I should mention that if the device is powered by an external 5V DC source, it should be capable of delivering a current of at least 1 ampere. All components used are standard except of the LED matrix which can be found on the market in several versions. They all differ in the way and order of connecting the LEDs in them, zigzag horizontally, then vertically, snake connection, etc. It is obvious that we cannot make hardware changes, so for this purpose I create a part of the code where any version of these matrices can be selected. We need to select one by one of these four connection methods until we get the correct image on the matrix display. As for the rest of the code, although seeming seemingly simple, there are problems with frequent repetition of an identical part of the ball, making it is possible, impossible to destroy some of the bricks, which is a consequence of the extremely small display. However, after a long experiment, I slowed this part with some randomization of the ball, so the game became even more interesting. And like the last time, You can see that the code is designed in such a way that all the game parameters can be changed very, very easily so we can quickly adapt the game to our own needs. Now let's follow the way the game works. Immediately after turning on the game, a mini breakout scrolling text appears on the display and after that the game begins. The first level is the easiest, so in this level the paddle is the largest and is 3 pixels wide. When we hit any brick with the ball, it disappears and we get one point for that. The entire game is uncompiled with appropriate sounds. After completing game, the score appears in the form of scrolling text and the, the end, a smiley figure appears. Now by pressing any of the button, a new game is started. 
Below you will see several gameplays in all three levels. And finally a short conclusion, this extremely simple project is actually the minimum possible version of the breakout arcade game main, made on a 64 pixels display but still with almost all the standard options and sound effects. As I mentioned previously the case is from one of my previous projects and is made of 5mm thick PVC material and has the shape of a classic arcade game console where this game was most often played in many years ago. It is